Hi, Brian Auer from feelingnegative.com. Welcome to another video episode. Uh, recently on the blog I wrote an article about uh, kind of introducing optical enlargers. So I thought it might be good to take a quick video tour of my personal equipment just to show the same concepts in a more visual form. Um, so we're going to go through each of the, the parts and how they work. And then at the end I also want to take a look at the differences between a condenser head and a diffuser head. I've got one of each here so we can kind of take a look at the insides and how they work. Um, starting off with the, the base of the enlarger, it's just a piece of wood, pretty solid, thick, flat, uh, and it's got some mounting points here in the back for this, this frame to mount into. So everything kind of relies on that being nice and sturdy. And then you just lay down your easel right on the, the baseboard there. Okay, on the vertical frame we have an adjustment here that can make the enlarger head move up or down. It's nice and noisy and what that does is it changes the size of the image on the baseboard. As you move it up the image gets larger. As you move it down it gets smaller. So that allows you to print on different size papers and whatnot. Attached to this, this part that goes up and down is a frame that holds the enlarger head and the rest of the enlarger. Um, on this one, uh, mine's a rigid uh, frame. Some of them actually have uh, kind of a rotation in here where you can flip the whole enlarger head and point it at a wall. Uh, that would be nice to have something like that to do larger prints if that's what you need to do. Um, also on this frame we have another adjustment and this guy changes the distance between the lens and the film plane. Uh, that allows you to focus the, uh, the image down on the baseboard because that's got to change as you change the, the height of the, uh, the enlarger head. So when I say enlarger head, this is the actual head, is this portion right here. Um, everything else here is some other part, uh, including a film holder that goes in here and also a lens holder down here. Okay, I'll cover the enlarger head last, but right below that, uh, if you lift up the enlarger head, there's actually a film holder. And these are just um, kind of a clamshell design. You slide your film in there, clamp it down, get it all in the right spot, and then you'll slide it into here, and it, there's these little uh, notches to slide into place. You lower the head back down, and it holds it all there. Now, right below that is a bellows and that just allows flexibility for the, the lens to move up and down. Below that is the lens itself, which mounts on a board, uh, just a piece of metal basically, and it screws on with a threaded mount. Um, so there's that. And then below that is this little guy that swings into place. It's an external filter holder, and what I've got there is a red filter in case I have paper down and I need to shine the image down to make some final adjustments or place a mask or do something like that. The red doesn't expose the paper. Now to take a look at the actual enlarger head itself. Uh, like I said, this is a condenser head. This is for black and white printing. Um, so if we open it up, there's actually a schematic on the back that shows all the parts that go into it. There's a light source. Uh, heat absorber, there's a condenser lens, a filter holder, and then another condenser lens. Okay, so my light source is here behind this piece of metal. Uh, my heat absorber is just a piece of glass. These things can get pretty hot and they can damage film if you leave it on for too long with certain types of film. So I put one in there just to be careful. The condenser lenses, they're just a big chunk of glass with a funny shape to them. They've got some real serious curvature there. Uh, so the top one sits face down, you know, with the flat side up, and then uh, the bottom one sits the opposite direction. The bottom one sits like so. And right below this bottom one is a, the film plane. And there's no other windows, no other uh, stuff between it and the film. So what those two lenses do is they work together to direct the light straight down and, and shoot it straight through the film. In between those is where you place your film holder, and this is uh, just an easy holder for you know those little uh, plastic multi-grade filters. So that just sits in there and allows you to change your contrast while you're printing. So that's 
that's inside, and those are changed quite often. A diffuser head, on the other hand, uh, has a few different parts, and what I've got here is a dichro head, which is for printing in color, and it's got these uh, blue, red, and that's supposed to be a yellow color adjustments to change the temperature of the light so that you can get the color on. Um, it mounts up to the same and larger. Uh, in fact, the, the outer shell of it is actually, as far as I can tell, the same part, but the insides are very different. So, pull this apart first. This is a little more complicated. Uh, instead of just a light bulb, it does have a light bulb, but it's more of a directed light source. And that shines through, since it's a dichro head, it shines through a series of plates that can get adjusted up or down. And uh, those are the color filters, so different amounts of color filtering before it shines through this hole. So the light shines directly through that hole and into the uh, diffuser box. Set that down. Okay, so inside the head, we have one thing that slides in, and that's the diffuser box. You see that little window there, that's where the light shines through. And the inside's real bright white, and then on the very bottom, there's a, just a piece of plastic that's kind of opaque, um, semi-opaque, and that lets the light come through, and it kind of diffuses it, and you know, it goes all over the place, so that's why you end up with your softer prints in the uh, diffuser head. So that was a basic rundown of the optical enlarger and the, you know, a few of the differences between the diffuser and condenser heads. Uh, hopefully that helped a little bit more if it's a piece of equipment that you haven't dealt with before. Uh, they do look kind of big and scary and ugly sometimes, but they're really, really simple things easy to work with and if you have room for it to make your own dark room such as a bathroom or a garage or a basement or whatever uh, it's, it's worth picking one up and getting into it.